Do it, 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 Hey guys, how is everyone doing today? So for those who joined me in the live stream yesterday, thanks for hanging out and asking your questions, and thanks to all those who donated to the Kickstarter for the Vader fan film. We jumped over 10 grand just because of you guys in that stream, so if we keep doing that over the next three weeks, I know we can reach the target and make an amazing fan film for all Star Wars fans out there. Anyways, so, Solo. I've been pretty quiet about this, but today I want to talk about what Disney has briefly said regarding the low box office amount that they've received for the film. With all the reshoots, if you don't know the story, the original directors were fired midway through shooting and in came talented Ron Howard, who took over and completely made things right. That entire fiasco cost Disney about $500 million to make this movie. Now while I really liked the movie, I thought it was fun for covering Han Solo, However, it didn't perform well up to Disney standards, or at least for its projection in its opening weekend. Disney claimed it would be a record-breaking opening weekend and it would be huge. However, the final numbers are in now that the weekend's over, and the film only generated $110 million as of Monday. Now, when stacked up against a project worth $500 million, that's not really too great, considering things usually taper off after the opening weekend. Disney's Dave Hollis had this to say about it. There's a question of frequency, and how many times people will go to the movies. Is this too much and too soon for a third time in a five week period? We are all over it, and we'll spend a lot of time digging into why things happened the way they did. We have a year and a half before episode 9 comes out. Alright, so in my opinion, I think they're going about this all wrong. The way they marketed The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi was great. Obviously, The Last Jedi was a little bit different than The Force Awakens, but still, it gave them good numbers, at least. It was always in our face, it was about characters we really love, not to say that we don't care about Han Solo, but realistically, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that I care more about Han than Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader, because that's just not true. The movie was fun, don't get me wrong, I really loved it, I had a good time, but to generate ticket sales by just regular Star Wars viewers beyond the crazy Star Wars fan is gonna be something hard to do for a movie about a character that the populace isn't really that invested in. Now the theme I'm catching on to that Disney is using is something I like, but also something I can see people getting annoyed of, which I fully am with you guys on. Like in Rogue One, which I loved, they put Vader in at the end, a very menacing and dark and epic scene, something we have never seen on film before for Vader to do, at least until we see my fan film. Shameless plug, Kickstarter down in the description below. And you know, that sold the film big time for me. In this one, they put you know who at the end, I'm not gonna give away spoilers, and that again sold this film for me. When they throw in these iconic characters at the end, it really just ties things all together and hits that sensitive nerve, you know, igniting our love for Star Wars even more. My opinion about Disney's direction, whether it matters or not to them, which it most certainly doesn't, but it should, as I am part of their 1.3 billion projected Star Wars fan base out there. They need to stop teasing us and give us what we want. Now, if there is one question I've received more often than others, it's you guys asking me to make a video on my thoughts that Disney should take for Star Wars in the future. And that's something that I'm finally gonna be doing. Not to bash them, but just to have a friendly discussion about what we all think could happen in the future, or maybe should happen in the future, for what we want to see. So as for today's video, that's all I wanted to convey. Disney is aware of the low sales, and they'll be working over the next year and a half on how to make Episode 9 reach the potential that they're aiming for. Let me know what you guys thought about Solo, and the direction you want Disney to take, if you think they're not taking the direction you want. Thank you for watching today's video, everyone. I will see you all in the next episode of Star Wars Theory. Until then, my fellow Jedi and Sith friends, remember... The Force will be with you always.